Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Playwright TypeScript series. In the last couple of sessions of this series, we have covered various locators strategies like ID, class, text, CSS, XPath. In the last video, we have talked about data test ID also. There is one more interesting concept that Playwright in the form of uh, selectors, we are having a role selector. It means select the elements by their area role, especially for the accessibility testing point of view, you can test certain things over here. So for example, let's see if I uh, go to playwright.dev and then I'll search for a specific method that is, let's see, the method name is get by role method is there and uh, you go to the locator section here. This get by role method is actually added in 1.27 allows locating elements by their area role, area attributes and accessible name. Consider the following DOM structure. So for example, let's see there is one uh, DOM, which is uh, written like this. One header is there, H3 header. Under this label, one input and then one button is also here. And you see that this header is having a name sign up. Type is equal to checkbox, but it's having a name like or text like subscribe button, having a text like submit. So you can use this particular method page.get by role. And then you can supply your uh, element with the help of some role like heading, checkbox, button. These are what? These are roles are predefined by area. I'll show you that how exactly according to W3C, what are the different roles it can take it over here. So if you see that, although they have given the complete uh, number of options also that here heading role and checkbox role and the button role, which is available. And then you can just need to give their respective name property here. So let's see, for example, for heading, the name is sign up, right? For input type equal to checkbox for checkbox name is equal to subscribe. Same thing for this particular button. So button is a role and name is equal to submit over here. So what kind of role according to W3C, these are the different roles. So you can write it here. You can write list box, list item. You can use it link also progress bar, radio button, radio groups, region, row, tables, articles, applications, alerts. There are different types of roles which are available over here. It is accepted by Playwright, right? And then if you slightly scroll down, they have given one documentation also that uh, learn more about <clears throat> the accessible name here. So click on this. And this is the official W3C uh, page. And uh, what do you mean by accessible name and everything? You can just simply read it over here. And then with the help of accessible description, it says that the accessible name is the name of the user interface element. It means, for example, if I have a specific element, for example, let's see if I have this particular H3, the name of this H3 element is sign up. The name of this button is submit button. The name of this input type checkbox is subscribe over here. So exactly same thing in the playwright also you have to use it over here, right? So what we will do, we will uh, pick one application. For example, let's see, I'll go to one registration page over here. And on this registration page, I want to check that this is also a header. You can just simply inspect it. And uh, here you can see H1 register account is here. Then I can see that, uh, let's see one forgotten password is there. So for me, the name of this link is forgotten password. Don't go with the don't get confused that, okay, I have to use some text property or something. Simple say that, okay, how will you name this guy? The name of this guy is, or this element is forgotten password according to W3C. The accessible name, this is according to the W3C documentation is the name of a user interface element here. Right, guys? So same thing if I ask you that, okay, then what is the name of this button? Continue. What is the name of this radio button? Yes. What is the name of this radio button? No, like that. Okay. So we will see what is the name of this privacy policy, privacy policy, right? So exactly same thing in the playwright. Also, we can uh, find out a specific or create a specific element, and then we can perform some action on it. So I'll do one thing. Let's say I'm just launching this particular application, which I have already written. And let's quickly see one thing here. Let's see, I'm writing a wait, and then I'm directly writing one. Uh, expect with the assertion also that that particular element on the basis of its role, it's really visible or not. So I'm writing page dot same method instead of writing locator. We have to use, see this, 
get by role method is there. Can you see? This get by role. And it says that the first is the role you have to give it to me. And the role would be a string. It could be alert. It could be a banner, cell, combo box, or 67 different types of roles are available. It's defined here. And then you can just simple, same example they have given over here as well. In fact, uh, supported roles, you can go to the official documentation of W3C. So let's open that here as well. So here you can see that there are different types of role supported by Playwright, which are defined inside the W3C recommendation. So you can write alert, alert box, banner, see so many things are there. So these are the different types of roles. See log, list box, list for link. You can use it here like that. Right. So this is especially designed for the accessibility testing point of view or for the accessibility target audience point of view. Right. So what we will do, we will simply come back here and then I'm writing get by role method. And what is the role? The role, see the syntax. First of all, that let's see, I'm looking for, for this particular header. <laughs> this is the registration account header. So here, what will be the role? So role we have to check, let's see for the header. I'll go to, let's see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Do we have any header kind of role or heading kind of role? So see F, G, H. Can you see heading? It says heading of a section of the page. Heading for a section of the page. So this will be my role here. Got it? So see this. I'll come back here in my Visual Studio. In fact, they have given here as well. So if you write it, see... You can write 67 more. If you can click on it, you will see it over here as well. If you can go to their uh, documentation also, that also we can read. We can see there as well. So I'm simple writing heading is the role. And then we have to supply as an object here. You can see heading and what will be the name. So here I'm writing the name is what the name is, whatever the name is available. That is register account. So I'll just copy from here to here and then come back here and then simple paste it. Right. And then closing bracket and then i'm writing let's see this element is really visible or not so here i'm writing that to be visible or uh, sorry let's write to be visible method that i'm writing it here perfect so first land on this particular page and check get by role heading and then i'm going to run this so let's run it and let's see is it really working or not <clears throat> so yes Page is getting launched and yeah, it's absolutely working fine. Test got passed here. You can just perform any action, dot click, dot send keys, whatever you want to perform, you can perform that as well. So let's see, for example, register account, you want to capture the text, you can capture that as well. Okay, now let's take one more example. Again, I'm writing await and then I'm writing, uh, let's see, um, expect. And uh, here I'm writing that page dot once again, get by role. This time, I'm let's see, I'm checking for the link. For the link, what we have to supply, you have to supply link is the role name, comma. And then again, you have to write, let's see what will be the name of the link. So for example, let's say I'm supplying forgotten password, right? So here I'm writing that the name is single quote forgotten password is really visible to be visible or not. So let's see again, I'm using this particular method, right? So for heading, heading is a role for link, link is a role. And then again, I'm running, let's see, is it really working or not? Yeah, it's absolutely working fine. So this is also great, right? Now let's check one more thing. Let's see this time one radio button. So let's see again, I'm writing expect page dot or I'll do one thing. I'll just copy the exactly same thing and then paste it over here. And um, I'll say that uh, this is, let's see for the radio button, right? Yes or no. So here, what we have to do, we have to write radio here. See, you can go to their documentation also. And you can check that, okay, radio is written here or not. So if radio is there, you can just use it here. So for example, that you can see radio is there. So radio will be your role name. So again, I'm writing radio is my role name. And what is the name of the radio button or radio element? The name of the radio element is yes here. So if I, let's see, inspect that guy and then I'll open this, I can see yes. So text will be considered as a name. So in that case, it's a... Case insensitive also. You can write capital or small yes also. So in that case, let's see if I'm simple writing yes, doesn't matter if space is there or not. And then I'm saying that, okay, if it is to be visible or not. If it is visible, then I can do one thing. I can just again 
use it and then i can let's see use dot a click also if i really want to use i can just click on this particular element as well right so that also we can do so let's write one more time a simple await here okay let's run it again okay so it's absolutely working fine there is no issue with that and then the test got passed here so for radio also you can use it link also we can do let's see for the checkbox i want to select this particular checkbox so let's inspect this guy and uh, the type equal to checkbox which is written here but if you see that this checkbox has no text i'm not talking about the name attribute right but let's see the name equal to agree it will take or not so uh, again i'll say one thing let's see write it here and this time what will be the role again you can check it here the exact role the exact role for the checks so you can just go to uh for checkbox this is a role so i have to write checkbox here same thing you can find it in the playwright here as well that for checkbox checkbox you have to use checkbox here simple so again come back to your script the role will be checkbox and then what is the name so let's see name is not available and what if i'm using the name attribute ideally it should not work but let's see name is equal to agree if i'm using it and then i'm writing name is equal to agree and check is it really visible or not if it is not visible it will give me the error if it is not able to find that otherwise uh, it will just simple pass it okay so see it is not working and then it's just still waiting can you see this promise is still waiting and then it says that timeout after 500 millisecond not able to find that particular element the name you cannot use it you have to supply the text but here you see this type equal to checkbox does not have any text over here then in that case we know that okay let's see for example only one checkbox is available so i can do one thing i can remove this name property from here it is not mandatory it's an optional parameter and i'm saying check to be visible or not if it is visible then click on it because we are using directly this and then simple write dot click here okay and uh, <clears throat> i'll do one thing again i'm writing page dot let's see wait for uh, timeout and then here i'm writing this is just like thread dot sleep wait for the so you can use this also okay so let's run it again so we will see actually that it's really clicking on the checkbox or not so see checkbox got selected here can you see and then it's closing the browser so you can use this particular method it will just wait for three seconds then it will close the browser okay so checkbox also you can use it if name is not available you can directly use it here like this okay now for example let's see if i really want to use it for a button button is what a continue button so let me just simple inspect that it's written although it's input but type equal to submit value is equal to continue and class equal to this so generally whenever you see type equal to submit let's see first of all that do we have any something related to submit so i'll go to here and uh, see for search is there and uh, submit is not available actually right but if you see here button is available so type equal to submit generally it is made for the buttons so i can use it a role can be a button here right and when i simple come back here also it looks like a button only right although it's not return it's input and type equal to submit there is nothing like button is written here so let's see is it really working with the button or not so i'll go to my visual studio code and uh, let's do one thing just uh, the role is what role is button and what is the name property so here again i'm writing that name is what continue let me just quickly check that continue c capital so i'm writing continue here and then continue if it is uh, visible then you just need to click on it so i'll just do one thing again i just copy from here to here and then dot click method that i have to use it here and then don't use don't forget to use await perfect so let's see this time is it really working or not so it should click on continue button so browser got launched nice and then see it's clicking on continue that's why you are getting the error messages here and then after that it's closed the test got passed here nice so these are the different types of roles you can use it this is something amazing feature which is available here in the playwright with respect to get by role with respect to accessibility testing you can check it here that okay these are the roles according to w3c which are defined here 
is it really supported or not and can we identify the element on the page with the help of playwright by using these roles so this is the main purpose of using it but one observation remember that get by role method use it when you really want to do proper accessibility testing or some features with respect to accessibility testing you want to do it this is slightly slower than as compared to the page dot locator or with the css selector css selector is very powerful and very faster as compared to get by role right the first thing that we discussed uh, over here right this one the class name or the css selector which is slightly faster than the get by role but get by role is specially designed for the area role for the accessibility testing point of view of our area attribute or accessible name you want to check it on the basis of a role you can use this method here this is like very recently few releases back only they introduced this method here i hope it's clear this is an amazing feature use it let me know in case of any issues and try with other applications also i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all